Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys have had a phenomenal week. Um, today we have another mask comparison. So we're going to be comparing the Sphera mask. As you guys know, my absolute favorite mask, but against my new favorite, the Hunter. So I got the Hunter about two or three months ago and I got it for scuba actually. It was while we were in Egypt and I was battling my normal scuba mask was giving me shit. And one of the guys said, hey, listen, you can use my mask. And he had a Hunter mask and it was beautiful. And over time I realized, hey, this, you know, this is quite a low volume mask and why couldn't i free dive with it so i ordered myself um i ordered myself one and in short i'm loving it and it's giving the sphere a good run for its money so let's chat about it again what we're going to be looking at is the size um how i feel when i equalize the view the cost if there's any notable differences if there's an advantage of the one over the other uh, we're going to talk about the fit anything we should note and my choice. So this is the Hunter and this is how it fits. And this fair, as you guys have seen it many times on my face. All right, so size wise between these two masks i would say they're more or less the same size maybe the sphere is a little bit smaller maybe the sphere is a little bit smaller i'm not quite too sure i'm not sure but i think for travel purposes for ease of packing i would go with the hunter because i don't think it would break as easily and when it comes down to fit I would say that the Sphera wins this round because they are both low volume, but the Sphera is more low volume, which makes it even better. What I found interesting is that um, from an equalizing perspective, I find it easier to equalize in the Hunter mask. Somehow it's just built beautifully. And I don't know if you guys can see here, there's, it just has this deeper ridge from between the mask. It has this deeper ridge so you can fit your hand in nicely and get to the back to equalize and I love that so from a fit perspective more than the fact that you probably have to equalize at about the same depth because I've gone to deeper depths with both and I find that the hunter doesn't stick to your face fast enough for you to need to equalize early so if one has to win the equalization and fit space, I would go with the Hunter. The Hunter is a better mask from that perspective. All right. Views in the water, I somehow, I don't know, it's a weird feeling, but I always feel like I prefer the Hunter. I don't know, it just, maybe it's because it also doesn't sit so flush against my face. I don't know what it is, but when it comes to the viewing underwater, I really do prefer the Hunter once again. And are there any notable differences between the two masks? Yes, uh, the Sphera mask has a plastic lens and the Hunter mask has a glass lens. I've mentioned before that this is my replaced, I had to replace my Sphera mask because the lens broke during travel. And I don't think that would be necessarily the same thing that would happen with a glass mask so somehow I feel like this mask would be more durable than the Sphera mask so on that note I go with the Hunter and the question of is there an advantage between two of the masks yes this is also a great scuba diving mask so you can have two users for one mask without really blinking twice um, so I really do it I do I scuba dive with this mask as well and I enjoy it on both ends. So that's well worth noting. Cost, these two masks are about the same price. They're both in the 600 Rand range. Um, I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but they're about both 600. So there's no winner in the price category. But officially, what is my choice between these two masks? As much as I absolutely adore the Sphera, I found that the Hunter has come in and 
has taken up space in my heart and I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time, but every time we go free diving, I carry both of them. And I don't know who's the backup mask as yet, but I love both of them and I use them both probably equally. But I think the most important thing is having a mask that has actually sat at the same level as the Sphera is a big, big, big thing for me. So I'm definitely a big fan of the Hunter. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please do let me know, um, based on this comparison, which mask you would choose and which mask you're currently using. And if there's a mask that I should be looking at that would even beat the Hunter, I don't even know. But anyway, do let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and have a fantastic week. Cheers.